Mr. Juan Mata, good to see you. Good to see you too. A Spain-England final. What do you think? What What are your thoughts? I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's the, it's the final that I wanted. Um, of course, being Spanish, I want Spain to, to win another Euros, but after so many years in, in England, um, England has a big part also of my heart, so it's a great day. We spoke about this earlier, Juan. What, what do England have to do to get at Spain, to disrupt Spain? Well, I think Spain is going to try to dominate the game with the ball. Uh, and if England manage to have the ball and keep the ball and, and make the Spanish players run, run behind the ball, they will have uh, a bigger chance. And of course, they have great players, especially at front, that they can make a, a goal by themselves and, and define the final. Um, but I think it's going to be good. It's going to be a good final. And Spain, I feel and I hope, is going to go for, for the game since minute one. I mean, Spain going into it are favourites and they've had a great tournament and they have Rodri. Hmm. How key is he? Instrumental. Instrumental for Man City, of course, but instrumental for the, for the national team. And, and the coach has found a way of mixing him with Fabian Rich, which is doing a great Euros. Uh, of course, he's a leader on the pitch, Rodri, and I'm sure that he's a leader also off the pitch. He's got a great personality. He's an outstanding player. How does this Spain compare to the one that you featured in, which has been described as the golden generation of Spanish football? Well, I hope this one is will be also a golden generation because, I mean, if, if they win today, it's just fantastic. But if not, I think there is something really important uh, being built. A lot of young players, uh, good style, and in my point of view, good style of, of football. So... I hope we win, but even if we don't win, I think Spain has a great future. So I don't like to make comparisons with what we used to be. I don't, I don't like that. I think there are different times. But I think if there is one similar thing is that we try to win games through possession of the ball and through trying to attack more than the rival. England, as you know, have knocked on the door a few times in Moscow, of course, in, in Russia in the World Cup. Um, more recently in Qatar and, of course, at Wembley in the last Euros. Yeah. This could be Southgate's time. This could be the time that England do it under Gareth Southgate. I wonder if you think, yeah, the way they've got there, the so-called luckier side of the draw, this could be England's time. It certainly can. I mean, they're in another final. And I think uh, I think we, we should acknowledge that he has to get credit for all of this, right? I know there has been a lot of criticism and mm -hmm. the way that England has played or not, and we all want our team to play the best we can, or the, the football that we like. But to get to your, to your point, to get England twice in a row to a Euros final is not a coincidence. And so, yes, you can talk, talk about luck in the group or whatever and the defining moments, but defining moments like... Jude Bellingham's goal is not luck, it's his capacity to actually do it in that specific moment. So I think we should acknowledge the credit that these players deserve and the, and the coaching staff deserves. So we acknowledge it and they deserve to be there, but you still want Spain. I want Spain. <laughs> I want Spain to win. I know what it represents for, for my country, for my family, for, for my people and for myself. So um, I think we deserve it and it will be nice to end the Euros by winning it, but not always the one that deserves it wins it in football so let's see two, two more questions from me one on Manchester United under Eric Ten Hag did you think he would go into another season? <sighs> I don't know I mean I'm, I'm, as you know I'm not there anymore I just uh, was happy when they won the FA Cup I thought that was a, a very good day for all United fans around the world um, and I hope the best you know I hope that they can really bring it to the level of competing for the Premier League competing for the Champions League because I think that's what uh, Man United as a club deserves and that's what Man United fans deserve. And because of what you did and your time at Chelsea, I know that Chelsea still has a special place in your heart, does it not? Yeah, uh, and we have a Chelsea fan here, so I should not say yes. the opposite. He works at Talk Sport. It doesn't do much, one. His name is Joe. <laughs> I am so grateful to Chelsea. I mean, the two and a half years that I spent there, it, w it was incredible. Of course, it was combined with trophies, with the Champions League, with the Europa League, with the FA Cup, with the love that I got from, from all the fans. Uh, I was enjoying so much on the pitch. So, of course, I also want Chelsea to, to do well. And there have been some challenging times, but uh, it looks like with the young squad that they have, they can really build on that. 
On the final itself, and this is the final one from me, tell me about Lamine Yamal. Have you ever seen anybody like this? This young kid, he's 17 the day before this final. I mean, what, what's he got? I think he has, of course, a lot of quality and a lot of, and a beautiful left foot, but he has, he's fearless. You know, when you are that age, I think uh, I think about myself when I was 16 and 17, and I could yeah. not imagine to to be in a stadium like that and perform the way he's doing. And I think, in a way, his age is helping with that about being fearless and not being fully aware of what's going on. I'm sure he is, but he's still able to perform in that that way. It's just uh, incredible. He's been doing that for Barcelona now to do it with the national team. It's incredible. So yeah, yeah. And you're here as an ambassador for Adidas. Enjoy the final one and thank you for your time. Thank you. Good to see and you. Talks, it's always good to see you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Which is gracias. <laughs> Great accent. What is this? Talksport.